I mean, Mr. Duterte's make friends and not war message, is that working with the Chinese leadership? Well, certainly Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said ahead of Mr. Duterte's arrival that the visit was historic and that no individual or foreign force could stand in the way of rebuilding the friendship between China and the Philippines. And he added that China's arms were open and ready for friendship and cooperation. Now, Mr. Duterte's visit comes three months after relations between the two nations hit an all-time low following an international court ruling that there was no legal basis for Beijing's claims to much of the South China Sea. Uh, but Mr. Duterte Duterte has said that the South China Sea dispute was not on the agenda on this trip. And arriving at his hotel here in Beijing, uh, Mr. Duterte said he expected to achieve plenty of happiness for his country during his visit to China. And his main task here is to repair bilateral relations and secure cooperation with China, especially in economic areas. And it seems to be working. Uh, Philippines officials are reportedly in talks with their Chinese counterparts to finalize a deal that could see both governments work hand in hand to find oil or gas in the uncontested areas in the South China Sea. Now the proposed deal will call for cooperation of the two countries to start closer to the Philippines and away from disputed areas as a confidence building measure. Uh, but if the deal does come through, the joint energy exploration would mark one of the most dramatic reversal in Philippines foreign policy. And that's not all. China will also reportedly consider giving Filipino fishermen conditional access to disputed waters in the South China Sea after the two presidents of the two countries meet in Beijing uh, later this week. Now, China has seized Scarborough Shoal in 2012, denying Philippine fishermen access to its rich fishing grounds. Uh, but it's still not clear if China will make any demands on the Philippines in exchange for the fishing concession.